Hi there Libra, welcome to your end of June 2020 general tarot update. It's Rena here. Well, 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 well. So we're coming off of a, a lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. And um, for some of you, this was in your second house. For you later degree um, Libra types. And for some of you, this was in your second house of earned income. So that may have, you know, because earned income relates to a, a J-O-B, you may have had some developments there. And it could go either way. I mean, people usually say, you know, lunar eclipses take something away and solar eclipses bring something in. And I would say sometimes that Lunar eclipses can take away, I don't know if it's the obstacles, but it can make something come that was supposed to come, especially with the Venus and Jupiter retrograde. So you may have gotten money, you know, that's a possibility. And um, so we're going to have a solar eclipse in Cancer on June 21st, the day after the solstice. So um, that's another cardinal sign for you. And that means it's going to affect the, your career sector. Zero degrees of cancer. Well, you know, technically it probably will be more of your ninth house, which is more of the, um, unless you're, you know, the last degree of Scorpio, it probably have, will affect your, um, uh, ninth house which is more about foreign travel so if some of you have been wanting to to travel maybe you're going to have more opportunities for that university teaching and learning publishing and god just even that kind of thing so that could be great so boy have i been shuffling these cards <laughs> Okay, well the heart of the matter is the Five of Wands, which is a card of competition. Uh, sometimes this can be very invigorating competition that makes you feel like you're um, surrounded by people who are at the top of their game, and it can actually be good. Sometimes it might be toxic, where you feel like it's a doggy dog dog environment, and um, you don't like that, you know, Libra wants the harmony, you, you are a cardinal sign, so you tend to be very, um, I would say, ambitious and self-directing in your life, um, for sure. But by the same token, you you want to have harmony with yourself and others. You're not looking to um, step over anybody to get ahead. So, you know, you tend to be quite gracious about these kinds of things. This is fire energy. And... Um, and we do have a couple of kings and we have a queen, so we're talking. It's really weird. I've been getting that a lot. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because about people stepping into their own power now more, or if it has something to do with um, parents, issues with parenting, or your actual parents, like if, or even just authority figures. I could have, you know, a lot of the, the um, what we would call like a you know all of the above maybe kind of you know they are all connected to some degree. Um, so very interesting because we have here in the past position, Queen of Wands. Sometimes I think of someone who um, gets into a position that is very um, you know kind of like a higher position, and they all of a sudden they have to deal with a lot of um, conflict, meaning that, sorry about my creaking chair, meaning that, um, you know, you get a promotion, but then it's almost like 
you don't like having to deal with other people's conflicts because you want to be, see all sides. You want everybody to be happy and you don't want to have to choose one person over the other. So, um, I was thinking of that song, Mo Money, Mo Problems. And then I was thinking, Mo, um, <laughs> Mo, Mo Authority, Mo Problems. <laughs> Um, but just more complications, more complications. Um, and also, I mean, if you're a woman who has given birth and you want to go back into the, uh, you know, um, that would be really convenient if, if you were, if you gave birth during the shutdown and then you were able to have your maternity leave and not have to even think about it. Um, and now you want to get back into the Five of Wands, you know, we want to get back into that fight, you know. The, 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 the career and your partner is against that and you feel that conflict. I'm just kind of like thinking aloud here. Um, the higher message is the, the full card. And it's funny, there you go, zero. I was saying Cancer, zero degrees of uh, cancer that that uh, solar eclipse um, the zero relates to something that is oh what did I hear about that the well, they're talking about um, yeah that it's it's really like the unknown quality or quantity and really this is about you this is the ultimate zero point yeah that's what they call it and so really about you being able to create your reality uh, from the ground up now if this eclipse affects your ninth house this would be about how you view life and so having that sense of your own philosophy of life is very important because it informs the kind of choices that you make and how you choose to view all the events in your life. Because, you know, when this is one of the reasons why people will say, oh, that person hasn't found God. And what they mean is that they are experiencing a lot of confusion because they don't really have any kind of belief system to fall back on. So if something, you know, happens that is unwanted, that person who is just kind of like functioning based on, you know, good things always happening, when something like throws them off, then all of a sudden it can be like a downward spiral because they never really engaged with life at a deeper level. And then one bad event triggers within themselves a lot of negative emotions and thoughts and that just creates more negativity. You know, like let's say somebody has a, a bad thing happen and they just hit the bottle. And then that in itself creates its own set of problems. And they have an accident or, you know, and it, or health problems. And it just keeps spiraling out of control. So this is one of the reasons why um, this would be a good time in late June to cultivate that for yourself. And like, what it, what is it that you believe about life itself? And um, with the fool, it's it's about knowing that you're ready to embark on a new journey and being excited about it, not being apprehensive that you know what if, what if, but knowing that um, there's a lot of adventure awaiting you, and you know, being excited about the potential of it, but also knowing that you're kind of steering that ship and it's all about your own, you know, what you want to do, that you're free in a sense. Um, but you may feel this sense of conflict for some reason. What crosses you is the King of Cups. Now, I just did Cancer's reading and I got a lot of sorts, so I wonder if this is a Cancer, 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 Libra issue where you're dealing with a cancer individual, maybe this person is the father of your child and you're seeing that you're not getting along. And perhaps you know that 
a new path is inevitable for you. Because I would say, if this is specifically what you're dealing with, if you're a female Libra and this is a male Cancer, He's going to be more traditional and he's going to want you to be the traditional sort of mother. And that's just not what a lot of Libras are, women. You're, it, Libra is a masculine sign. This is a, a lot of where the clash comes in between the masculine and the feminine with um, the astrological science is that it's almost better for the man to be ma a masculine sign, like a fire and air sign, and the woman to be a fem uh, an earth and a water sign. If you're going to have those kind of what we would call incompatible elements, not to mean that people don't get together that are those combinations, but they're not typically considered uh, compatible, that if the man is the masculine sign and the woman is the female sign, they may tend to, um, you know, behave along those patterns of masculine and feminine. But then when you're, it's almost like a role reversal and the man feels like, Oh, she's you know supposed to stay at home. She has a child now, and you feel like um, you're butting up against that, and you don't maybe you don't want to wait and make waves, but this is really important to you, and and you feel this sense of like being stifled, being smothered. Um, what is coming in? Oh, and also too. With the King of Cups, this can be a partner who is manipulative uh, in the reversed position, who has a drinking problem or other type of substance abuse problem. They're es escaping their pain, but they're also very manipulative, maybe even a, um, what you might call it, a covert narcissist, where they um, are always, you know, using their, they're always the victim and they're using their emotions to have other people pity them. It's a manip manipulation either way. When you're talking about water that is in the challenge position, the person is trying to use their uh, emotions against you to try to get you to uh, change your views or your tactics. Uh, what's coming in is the King of Swords. You you know, I got this. It's so funny. I got this for Cancer, too. So it's, so, you know, and it's, I have gotten, I had at least one Libra person tell me, oh, you you pick on Libra. You, you, you must have a bad opinion of Libra people. And if you see this reading, here I am talking about Cancer. And I'm saying, because I don't pick on any sign, but I am, for each sign, I'm always like saying, you know, what you can do for yourself. Instead of just saying, oh, this is somebody else's fault. Because we can't control other people. So, it was so funny that I got this for uh, Libra. I mean, for Cancer. So, this is about, just like I said with Cancer, about like um, not allowing your emotions to keep you from doing what you need to do as it relates to a particular situation, whether it's in the workplace or whether it's um, in um, your a personal relationship. By the way, if it is in the workplace, there may be a lot of conflict in the workplace. And um, this, and if you're like in a position of a supervisory position, it may bother you because there, you may know there's a bad apple there, and you don't want to single anybody out. You want to be fair. I'm putting that in air quotes, because sometimes a person who tries to be fair is actually unfair, because they're um, neglecting other people for the sake of one person who they don't want to call out, or they don't want to do whatever, and that isn't fair to the collective as a whole. Sometimes there's a person who is creating most of the problems and that person has to be identified and um, you know that's what I see for that and then the outcome is the death card and this is a card of transformation and endings and irrevocable endings things that you can't um, argue about that are over when it's over it's over that type of thing and if you can make peace with it Libra and not fight it, that's the best thing.
because then you are able to um, deal with it coming from a position of accepting the truth about it. And did I get that card for cancer? I can't. I think I might have. I'm not sure, but it's pretty freaky. So I'm wondering if there is something going on between Libras and Cancers at the end of June. In any case, I hope that you enjoyed this Libra. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I'm promoting my whole enchilada reading, which is a combination. Uh, it's, it's actually two full-length readings for a special price. Full-length natal chart and, and um, transits. Um, you know, kind of like a a look at some of the the astrological uh, themes of the coming 12 months along with the natal chart interpretation and a full-length tarot reading doing an open like tarot you know I can always focus on one topic if somebody wants but sometimes it's better just to like do an open reading like I'm doing a modified Celtic cross spread type of a reading so the link to the, that particular reading, it's called The Whole Enchilada, and I have other readings. Uh, link is below. Thank you for watching and subscribing, sharing, and all that good stuff. Um, have a great rest of June. Bye.